JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing at stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brookstone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. When Escar Ramirez won the 2010 All-American Futurity aboard Mr. Peloto, his celebration was befitting the world's greatest quarter horse race. But behind the scenes, there was a quieter kind of joy from Escar's agent, Kathy Bowie. It was amazing. Besides the birth of my children, I would say that that is the most amazing feeling ever. And he kept telling me all week, Kathy, we're going to win the All-American. And I was like, yes, Escar, that would be lovely. That would be wonderful. But it was amazing. Kathy has been working as Escar's agent for six years. She was booking his mounts when he achieved a breakthrough victory in the 2006 All-American Derby. I got him the year before that, so. And I was very green when I started. I was very green, um, and he and I have kind of come along together and learned the ropes together, and we make all the decisions together. Hustling book may have been new to Kathy in 2005, but racetrack life was not. She literally grew up in this environment. My grandfather was a steeplechase jockey and was a trainer after that, became an agent. My dad was a trainer. My mom's worked in the racing office for 20 plus years. Uh, my brother is a third red rider, for, started when he was 18 years old, so I have a lot of background myself. Love it. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Even though Kathy represents three riders, big money opportunities like the All-American are the exception. A jockey must win a lot of races to be successful, and that means the agent must alternately be a handicapper, confidant, and politician. You have to be a go-between between your rider and the trainers and find a happy medium between both because you have to keep both people happy. Even though your rider is the one that pays you, you still have to keep the trainers happy and, and keep an eye on your races. You have to spot your races and know where you're going and kind of lead yourself up to, to picking the best horse in the right spot. I just have to stay on top of the condition book. I have to know where trainers are spotting races. I have to know uh, where we're going to be needing to work horses. I have to kind of put the important trainers first and, and the important horses first. The pair must also work together as a team. Kathy says Escar always holds up his end. He works hard. He communicates. He, we have no problems whatsoever. I have every confidence in the world in Esgar. He has a knowledge of the horses. He knows the name of every single horse that he gets on in the mornings. He knows what kind of races they belong in. He knows where they ran the last time. So when I call him and say, Esgar, you, do you want to ride this horse or this horse? He immediately tells me because he remembers. He has a very good knowledge of horses. Esgar definitely knows the horse he'll ride in Monday's All-American Futurity. He's the only jockey that Big Daddy Cartel has ever known. We've liked him ever since the schooling races the first time. I, I was in Farmington that day. I didn't get to be here for the schooling races, and I was entering horses over there, and after that schooling race, my phone just went crazy with people calling me saying, who is that gray horse that Esgar just worked? So we're very excited. Who wouldn't be excited with a chance at a second straight All-American Futurity? But win or lose, Kathy Bowie knows she's right where she's supposed to be. I wouldn't quit doing this for the world. I have three kids and I travel a lot, but it all seems to work and I, I have a lot of enjoyment in my job. You know, I, I find a lot of pleasure in it. So I'll, I'll be doing this for as long as I, I, I can do it. As long as I have good riders that want, want to keep me, I'll be around. It seemed like it's really, really helped my program. I've had no OCDs in my babies. And when they get to the track, uh, first start breaking them. We haven't had problems going into it. And it seems like to me that the horses grow a little more and, and really develop better with the, the cow density to get them ready to, to get on the track and start the program. And we had real good luck with it the last couple of years, keeping the horses a little sounder and, and winning a lot of races. This coming fall, join Heritage Place in Oklahoma City for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 15th. So mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in Oklahoma City. This three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us. 
Heritage Place, where champions are sold. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.